that was fun. Um, like everything just nuked. And now I'm starting everything back up. Because, yeah. <laughs> that was pretty wild. Note to self, don't run a three node instance with Docker Compose until I can figure out why it's completely destroying my my session there because that was that was brutal. Docker latest, let's, Docker latest version. I'm on. Oh, it seems okay. Super weird. So anyway, let me, let me straighten everything out here. Yes. What are you not not plugged in right? What you doing there? So my face is gone. Give me one more minute here. Sort of unbroke myself. Let's see what did everything just go away. Okay, I got those added. That's cool. So I don't, I don't really want to. <laughs> I don't really want to run that again. I'm kind of scared of it now. Um. Yeah, never. It's never fun when things just completely bomb out on your machine. Uh, what is, so I tried to launch code and four things just happened. Oh yeah, so what's your code? Let's do that again. Ah, it's not opening the actual folder. It's opening some other crazy nonsense. So let's just open the folder now. There we go. Just open that one. 
and yeah, that's what we wanted. Come on, zoom out right. There we go. So now you can look at that stuff. Want to play risky with it and just do one? Maybe one will work. Uh, I don't even know if I want to do that. I'm really freaked out by that. That just drives me nuts now. Let's your docker. Compose. Postgres school. Let's see what this does. What it says. Oh, I want some tunes. Give me some tunes, people. tunes that Spotify always gives me. Hmm. All right, I'm looking, let's look up the Postgres samples here. We got Docker file up to 11, beta 2, that looks cool. Let's test that out. Let's see if I get another crash. Run dash D and let's go to Postgres. Oh weird, so it doesn't know. The password and stuff is secret enough, don't you think? that we'll call it docker docker compose postgres -cool. image postgres restart always jad miner Do a test run of that. Download a newer image. All right, that's cool. So Docker PS. That looks to be running. All right, so let's stop that. That seems to have worked. Oops. Whoa, that was. Be careful what you have in your copy and paste cache. Docker PS. Docker stop. Stopped. All right. And then I'm going to do a Docker compose file. Oh, not the right directory. We go and then call it local infra. And in there, we'll do Docker compose file name Docker compose dot postgresql dot yaml up. Headless uh, it should be cool. No. Oh, spelling. Spelling things are, is is important. Let's just do doc, Docker compose dot and then post. Oh, did I not put the? Oh, dash. Let's actually rename that. All right. I'm going to 
let's see, is it spelled right? Yep, that looks good. Give that a try. Oh, I don't, I don't know what this crap is. Let's living dangerously. There we go. That gave us a Docker server running. Let's cancel. Let's put Docker. We'll add this to the main script. Docker, compose, Docker, compose, post, oops, postgresql. YAML, up dash D, scale. Oh, no scales. There we go. All right, so that at least gives us Postgres and the other one. And the other one was, oops. server. Let's go take a look at that. <clears throat> Known issues. Go look at the GitHub project. Require some environment flags. So see that my question is always like, do, do they have it set already or do they require you do that though? Your feedback, Docker pool, that's what we did. So let's see here, connect to MS, Microsoft SQL Server, start a Microsoft Server reading, seeing that. I don't know, this, this should be fine though, and it's the freebie version at least. I don't want to get any licensing craziness. So let's try that actually. So there it's going to pull that image and get SQL Server Express started, hopefully. Well, that's working to see if that is okay. Let's create a new file, docker compose SQL, whoops, SQL server. All right, version two, and then we need its services. running on Linux. Craziness. Command. Uh, I don't know what else I need in that. So, but we can look at the Docker command and probably get some ideas about what we need. So we need the SA password. <coughs> and then the PID. So let's 
do environment. Say, whoops, say password. And ms SQL PID equals whoops, equals express and the password is gonna be my strong password. Which what's the standard one that comes out of this? That's what the real question is. that there for now. <clears throat> oh, did it run? Look at there. It ran with the crazy passwords and everything. So it's your stop. So that is the SQL server. And then we got the Postgres server. We're going to stop it. And the add miner, which that was that's kind of weird. But I'll look at that later. What we do know is we have SQL Server and Postgres now, so whatever. So environment variables, what they are. And I need to oh yeah, accept Eula to yes. should be 1433 and yeah that's what this is HP. oh how do I do that in Docker Compose do I have a What it is, ports. I don't think I actually need that here. So I say password. Set you a MySQL PID. Report. That's the image. I'm gonna pull that. Put that here. And da -da -da -da, so. Think that should run it? Let's find out. So Docker, whoops, Docker compose and Docker compose dot SQL server. Oh, fun. Oh, can I just do? Oh yeah, I need a. Need a rich environment ports. What do I need? A name? Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. Just call it SQL Server. Still not doing this right. Oh, of course I'm not doing it right. I'm not even issuing this stupid command. F Docker compose SQL server uh, up headless ports should be. Um, what am I doing? Is it need quotes? Maybe. Maybe this. Yes, I know. Trial and error guessing is not. Oh, look at there. Ha <laughs> ha I got it. 
So I've written a few Docker Compose files, but not a lot of Docker Compose files. So guessing is sometimes the way I end up writing them. <laughs> all right, so let's let's do some consolidation now on all of this. We'll do Docker Compose dash F Docker Compose dot PostgreSQL dot YAML. And then we'll do dot f docker compose actually let's do this and we'll do it on the new line and for readability we'll put this one down here too and dot f docker compose whatever this one will be sql server dot yaml this will be dot uh oh yeah i should rename it let's Let's go with Docker Compose. Oops. Rename. Uh, call it Cassie. There we go, Cassie. Dot Hamel. And then up dash D. We'll do scale node equals zero. specifies blah 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 but let's all right let's let's actually you know I'm gonna get rid of that one because I don't really know what's up and then this can be two I think um services yeah looks great actually let's just let's just be crazy here let's go ahead and add this to our RDBMSs, RDBMSs for now. Now I'm doing individual files. Eventually I'll make this one big file, by the way. So that's kind of the idea is you put everything in your Docker Compose file and then you launch it from the one. Um, and you don't have 50 different ones. But since I'm testing out individual parts at a time, I wanted to do each individual one that I can run just one at a time, et cetera, et cetera. Kind of get, you know, sandboxes the issues when they come up. Oh, right, because I changed it to... Change this to RDBMSs, YAML. There we go. Local infrastructure DB1. Is that because of my horrible naming? Is that what it is? Oh, DB. Let's call this Postgres school. Image, restart always. Actually, don't I don't I don't really want that. I just want that. Let's see Docker compose down. Can't find suitable configuration. Yeah, let's start our consolidation here. then we can get Docker Compose working right per the Docker Compose down or Docker Compose up based on our scripts. I'm going to actually add another one and call it shutdown.sh and that'll be for our whole environment. Let's go ahead and set permissions appropriately. Shutdown. There we go. And basically shutdown is going to have Docker Compose down for now. Let's just put this back to this.
the scale. I'll leave that in there for our data stacks cluster. Let's take Studio, save, and we'll put that in here. Uh, don't need that. Are we spaced right? We are spaced right. I'm going to call this um, peripheral elements. Make that a comment. So these are these are things that we won't need to run all the time during uh, development. But when we want insight and we want to troubleshoot or run commands against the data stacks enterprise cluster, we use Studio or we will use uh, Ops Center. So I'm going ahead and adding those to our file. But I'm going to have them down here, and then I can comment them out real easily if I don't want to use them for something. There we go. Oops. So I did that one. Delete. Op Center, I added it. Delete. And seed node and node. Yep, that looks right. Get that in there correctly. Yeah, it was, it was correct. There we go. So seed node and node. So I'm going to say this is our data stacks enterprise elements. And this is obvious, but I'm going to put a comment in there anyway. Post, post GraphSQL server. And then that's just so with the color coding syntax, I can definitely see where each element, or each thing is. SQL server, server. Uh -huh. See what they did there. All that redundant naming. All right, and then I'm going to rename this one just Docker Compose. And then get rid of this YAML file. And there, all the bits are in one YAML file. And I can run starter. Then I can run shut down. Is everything? I got a seed node, Postgres, yep, okay, everything. And let's put this at two again. And we'll see if I bomb out things or not. Starting up all the nodes, and then I'm going to shut them all down. So we can do the testing with just the one node for now. Looks like it's Freaking my box out again. Oh, my machine came back. Am I still streaming? I don't even know. Can the universe tell me? That is the that is the question. See, my internet connection died. It killed off everything. So interesting. Very very interesting. So it appears. Okay, I can accrue that when I launch a three-node cluster. 
it brings down the networking and it appears to restart the networking on my actual host machine. That's what's causing it to crash because everything went down, everything came back. Super crazy, I have no idea. But I could see in the other browser, like where I was running my Twitch feed monitoring, um, and also where my, my Spotify just became this, so I'm assuming that that is, uh, it died for whatever reason, um, via connection problem. So interesting. We've, we've done more than just start some servers today. We've learned what destroys my machine, or at least the networking on my machine. So that was, I was just listening to A Drug Against War by KMFDM. That is some old school stuff. But anyway, I digress. So it looks like, however, I can run just no nodes. Just that stuff. So that's enough for us to get started and really, really to do some things. Um, but at this point, I am at my cutoff time. So I'm going to call it a day and we're going to dive back in next time at getting all the connectivity going with SQL Server, Postgres, and we already have the connectivity with um, the Datastax Enterprise cluster that we set up in Google Cloud Platform, but I'm going to get it set up locally so that we can actually do testing against the box locally instead of having to worry about the one remotely. Then we can set up our respective integration tests and all that kind of jazz. So subscribe, get your friends to subscribe, and we'll get all this hacked together. Until next time, happy thrashing.